Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by BlackRifleCoffee.com. The evolution. <laughs> yeah, the evolution. I, I, I do, I do, okay, okay, I do, I do got a question, in. though. Sure. You obviously don't jump into being a part of two or three of the biggest shows of a generation. What was your tra- trajectory to get you there? Like, what? How did you I, get into television? How did you I get had, into? I literally <laughs> am a carpenter from. A, we both grew up in a small from town. from the same town, same yeah, shitty yeah. small town. What, it, what is it? What town? town? It's called Wellfleet, Massachusetts, ah. Cape Cod. It's like <clears> in a fishing the, village, yeah. a little yeah. fishing village, at, like at the end of the world. Speaking of fishing villages in Massachusetts, <laughs> oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. You know about Christ Carlos Raphael and the current cod crisis. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I don't. No, you never will. I don't. Never okay. will. It's are they keeping it under wraps? Yeah. The so last you- thing I'm, I'm going to ask you about that tape is. <laughs> <laughs> It's so epic. We went. He, I, he had me at cod, and I was like, Where "No, is don't, going? don't go down." There. I okay. can promise you, don't want to go down that okay. fishing hole. <laughs> All right, this fucker, um, <laughs> Stevo on yes. stilts, maybe eight feet in the air, just again naked, taking a shit mm. onto a sidewalk, yeah. and you see it coming out of his asshole down. Mm-hmm. Like there was a camera, obviously. Up mm-hmm. and underneath. That was a part of that scrub. tape. Yeah, it was before my time. Uh, well, <laughs> Not saying it didn't happen later. Yeah, yeah, time, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. No, I, so going back, I watched that and had my friend that got arrested. And then uh, Tom Green finished out. And then they said, hey, we're doing, it got sold. Will you come and work with us? And I did all the TV, the all three films. I, I executive produced Bad Grandpa, which was really fun with Knoxville. And. That's a funny fucking movie, man. Yeah, it's, fun. it's great. The man. shit scene in the that shit is, scene is the yeah. Be- tell us about that. How'd that go? Wait, which one? The Where shit scene on the wall. Sneezes? Oh, God, he sneezes dude, we shot, shits we shot that like four different times with like four different. And uh, what's weird about that is when he walks out, there's no shit in the back of his pants, and like, and no one no one notices the stuff that you notice when you're when you're shooting it, right? Right, right, so, right. Um, dude, the kid. Uh, he crushed it, dude. He was so good. Yeah, there were times. So it was, it was. Uh, were people just losing their? They're minds? losing their mind. Losing their mind. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that funeral should... scene is one of the funniest things you've ever seen. Dude, uh, that's one of the best. You know what? Though, I'll like, over there's over. not many times in my life I've been in the in the truck because we have to build a control room in the middle of nowhere, creepy to hide. To hide. Oh, yeah. And it was like eight people in there. So the weirdest one was when we did the. Um, the pageant, the beauty pageant. Oh, and I remember God. looking at everyone and like we're in and they're getting in, they walk in and they're back with all the other girls. And I'm like, we are going to hell. <laughs> <laughs> and then it just went to mayhem for that. So yeah. Well, yeah. I got some good news for you. There's no such thing as hell. And you know that because, because there's zero evidence for it. <laughs> <laughs>